don't want you to Slim hang shady. anymore. Are then said twin babies in Mercedes Benz with the windows up and the temp goes up to the mid 80s. Call them men, ladies. Sorry, Doc, but I've been crazy. There's no way that you can't save me. It's okay, go with him, Haley. <sighs> Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish and motherfuckers act like they forgot about Drake. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish and motherfuckers act like they forgot about Drake. All right, it's a that. show that sucks <laughs> with your host Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. See, uh, see what kind of place for cash to be done. Talk to talk to Art if you want to get that. Done. Yeah, if you need to contact <laughs> Spooky, you need to talk to Arturo. He's his secretary, so. Oh wow. This is for everyone. If you want to talk, contact Spooky at and might see Furby. Just ask him the question, and he'll relay it for you. He's very good at that. Oh, Arturo's the girl Friday in that business. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> With special guests from around the fighting game community. Is he going to answer? Yeah, no? <laughs> oh, oh, hey. <laughs> from the dead. Oh, are you crying? What happened? Uh, I forgot it was Tuesday. <laughs> 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 and my phone's charging. Then, you are uh, a terrible bison. How do you forget it's Tuesday? The worst part is you retweeted <laughs> the tweet that said it was tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> retweeted it. <laughs> Now for your host, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. God, I hope this works. Oh. I'm using my shitty webcam because all my stuff is like packed up because I just got home. Oh, wow. Harrison. I cut that off way too early. Why were you late? Why was I late? I think I have a problem, guys. Was it Catan? It was Settlers of Catan. Oh, my God. Sorry, How are guys. you 40 minutes late for Catan? For Catan? Yeah. Uh... How did that work out? Uh, the game just took forever because we played with five people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, let me unbutton my pants. Okay. I knew I was going to be late too, but... When, why did you mute me? I was going hard. I didn't mute say. you at all. I just turned the music oh. up louder than you were <laughs> pretending <laughs> to rap, so... <laughs> mm. But yeah, yeah, sorry guys, I was late. I don't know what the fuck. I come home, there's like some bullshit, like Super Desperation Radio or something, like streaming over our Yeah, I walked in the hijack the stream, um, Joker style. I don't know so. what that was about. Yeah. I thought I'd um, listen to that shit. But anyways, yes, it's number 92. <laughs> I have literally no idea what we're talking about this week, because I just got home. <laughs> uh, Alfonso Gonzo has a bright idea to... Share on I have so many ideas. Sure okay, so let's talk about circumcised dicks versus uncircumcised dicks. Personally, I'm half and half here. So. Are you literally half and half? I am. Okay. That's <laughs> that's your only idea of the show? <laughs> oh, man. Um, if you guys have questions, you can send them at Hans and Gonzo. Oh, God. We're yesterday. already in that um, phase of the show? Harrison, didn't we have a number of tournaments go on this past weekend? In uh, we did, I guess. Uh, we had Pandora House on Friday, round two. Um, I would say it was a lot of the same stuff, but it, it wasn't. I mean, Ricky kind of blew everybody up, but like he did the week before, went 13 and no. But I mean, that wasn't really a surprise. Um, I think the the top five kind of smushed together more. Kelvin brought it up. BJ kind of went down. LPN jumped like six spots in one week. So, but he's still back there in points. So oh, the top the five have mashed together. So it'll be interesting to see who gets that top five next week. How was the tournament play wise? Was there any good matches? Great matches? Anything to watch out for? Uh, Julio versus Ricky was really good. Um. Kelvin versus Ricky was really good. Um, I'm trying to think. There was BJ versus Romino was a really good match. Really close. Um, I don't know, man. I have to look back and look. I have so many. There's so many matches I got to go through. And then Wyoming Dojo also. I have to go through. What happened at Wyoming Dojo? I heard a personal what? aside all over Facebook. I know. Thinking. I know. <laughs> he was so glad when he beat me. I don't think I've ever Mr. been that excited. I don't think I've ever been that excited to win a tournament ever. He was super stoked. Like I think he threw it. Was it like... He was so psyched. He threw his 
controller down, and he, I think he like got enough money to like buy a new controller with the stick he just broke. Oh, he broke his stick? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it'd be funny if he did. But yeah, um, Mom Spaghetti won the tournament. If you guys don't know who Mom Spaghetti is, he's a local resident. He actually lives right next to me. He uh, helped me get to Wyoming a few times. And um, he, um, he's he been grinding it out very hard. For he's been grinding that game out more than just as hard as people were in like vanilla, I guess. Yeah, he's that's very, it's kind of lost team, and yeah, he is. He's been playing nonstop for since Wyoming Dojo won. So he's definitely wanted to win slash get top three for a while now. Yeah, and I mean he got super excited when he won, and like he wrote a giant Facebook post that I read. I know, just, like, and I was tagged in it life. even though I wasn't even in it. And I'm like, thanks, just <laughs> just rub it in more. <laughs> I guess. I, like he's like it's one of my life goals when tournament you know that's really cool you know, like you I don't know, understand yeah. when people play in these tournaments like they have goals you know like all of us but my goal is like win the tournament and if i do i'm like oh cool but these people their goal is win the tournament and they never do and they never win the tournament they might not even they might go over too you know so for, for, for someone to grind it out and improve so much that they get that far and then that you know it's progress and you know it's personal milestones and it's really important to some people, and I think it gets overshadowed, and I don't think people take it as seriously as they they probably should, because it is it's a very it's a hard thing to do is to win a tournament. It doesn't matter where you're at. I don't, like, Dude, even just ten part. people, man. Like, yeah. there's only ten people, and afterwards he was like, uh, like, man, I really wish like other people would shut up. It would have meant more. I'm like, dude, fuck that. Like, you know, you won a tournament. Like, you can't you can't take that away, or nobody can take that away from you. You know. Like, I think it's kind of stupid when people say, well, so-and-so wasn't here. It's like, well, so what? They weren't here. I won. Like, yeah. Pretty much. If you win, uh, just bask in the, in the glory until until the next tournament. Because there's always next tournament. Yeah, when I won tournaments, I'm happy, but I'm just like, okay. Next tournament. Yeah, like oh, Starbase, yeah, I, it's I like, know. yeah, I won. Okay, well, now i got to come back next week and yeah, try and beat everybody again and again and again. But I don't think I'm... I don't grind it out as hard as other people, so I think that is more personal. It's like more personal when, like, kind of like a uh, what's it called, a Sisyphean task when you're just going to tournaments and like you're just losing and losing, and it feels like you can't get any progress. And when you finally do, it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, congrats to Monster Getty. Uh, pretty, uh, I think it personifies a lot of uh, emotions in the FGC and why the FGC brings about a lot of good things. <sighs> Someone winning, new winning a tournament. So that's cool. Yep. I enjoy that. And uh, I know other people probably are just like, well, I don't know what that means, but it's whatever. It is whatever. It Harrison. Is what? Didn't you start a new job? I started a new job. How do you like mostly it? mostly why I was late. Cause it was you like, said it was Catan. It was like work, and then I, I thought about it, and I was like, oh, man, like I probably won't have enough time to play Catan, so I'll just be late for the show. And so I was like, okay, I'll just play Catan for an extra half an hour and then show up for the show. I think well, I was just, my logic You're already there. taken after me. I mean, there you go. Yeah? I'm never deliberately late for the show, though. I just forget. Oh, because that's so much better. It is. Just, 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 just forgetting. <laughs> the show as opposed to hey like i'm gonna be late let you let let people know instead of waking up at 10 30 and going oops the show's today after like nine calls and like 40 texts and like 400 skype messages sometimes my phone's dead and i just want the world to leave me alone i want some solace in my bed harrison is yeah. that so much to ask i find solace in sleep as many do um, was there another tournament? Did you watch that one tournament? Puerto Rican tournament? Yeah. Did you watch uh, I it? I did. I did. Uh, I watched quite a, nah, not quite a bit. Just a little bit of it. Uh, I was main, mainly watching Marvel because I haven't watched Marvel in a while. You know, it's, it hasn't been played as recently. And you know, it's off season. People are just like doing whatever. So I was watching it, and I was commenting on the Puerto Rican players and how the Puerto Rican players suck fat dick. They suck, and their teams are terrible. I understand why Neo Karsh left because <laughs> wow. he was way too good for Puerto Rico. Boom. Nah, they're all right. 
they're just they just play dumb teams, and I really don't get why they do it. They're getting away with a lot of things, but I mean the typical Americans that went over kind of bodied everyone. Chris, you did win. Uh, he did beat Justin, so oh he did. Kinda... Last time I saw Justin beat him in winners finals, and then yeah. I didn't. I didn't um, watch the rest of the stream. So, so it was kind of a blow up with that because I don't expect Justin to beat Chris G, but Chris G prevailed. And yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of a blow up. I, don't know. I didn't watch any Street Fighter, so I don't care. I watched, I watched a bunch of it, I guess. There's a lot of the top eight was super crazy because he was like Native and Pierre Barog, Justin Wong. Uh, I think that the Cody player there made top eight. Uh, CJ Truth. Another Fei Long or uh, DRA made it, so there's a lot of goofy characters, and everybody's like playing Elena and shit. In top eight, for no reason. I don't get it, but whatever. She's broken. She can't yeah. hit her. Yeah, yeah, but all of her combos just like don't work. <laughs> so I don't know. It's like a trade off at this point. Same thing with Poison. She'd Poison's be a solid terrible. character if it was like just if she didn't have like a million glitches. And I her combos just didn't work on people. You think she's bad? Yeah. I think she's solid. I don't think she's good. I think she's just a playable character. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean you're good. Yeah. You'd be playable and still suck. Not really. You can. Like what? I don't know. Uh. What's a non-playable character that's good? Or I... I... Dalsim in Marvel 2. Dolls in Marvel too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I don't know what you're talking about, so because I never played. Marvel I mean, he is top tier. He is top tier, Dolson, but he's so hard that people just can't play. There. Okay. Blew your fucking argument out of water. Yeah. All right. Fucking pwned. You fucking noob. I'll let you have that one, I guess. You fucking uh, I guess. noob. How is working at Pac-12? You dodged the question. Oh, I did. Uh, it's it's cool. Yeah, I haven't really know. I haven't really done anything yet. That's great. I kind of just <laughs> you're already part of the workforce. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're doing well. <laughs> uh, well, we basically what I mean by that we just like went over you know where like files get transferred and where we save everything and basically all that stuff that we need to know to like get files okay. to different places. Important questions that all the stream monsters want to know. Have you fucked the secretary yet? No. No, no, okay, not yet. Okay. We'll check in next week. Um what else happened, Harrison? Uh that was it, to be honest. I woke up at eight, went to work, came back. Uh You're so boring. Now. Helped <laughs> helped a client with their computer, went back to my house, ate, left for Wyoming Dojo, streamed Wyoming Dojo, fell asleep, woke up, went to work, came back, played Settlers of Catan, and now I'm here. That's that's what happened to me the last two days of my life. I don't describe my day like that, Harrison. <laughs> How do you describe your day? I pet my cat this morning. I have lunch. I'm drinking beer now. I'm talking to you. And so many great things happened today. Okay. <sighs> you didn't drink Baja Blast? I think that's the number one thing of the day. Like I don't drink Baja just... Blast never, dude. Never? You never. I have a lot. I just don't drink it. <laughs> You're so weird. Are you just gonna be one of those people that just keeps it around until they release it again? And no, like, well, I might. I just want to have it. So, like, say I'm I'm going to a party, and they're like, "Hey, bring some Baja Blast." I'll be like, "I totally have that." Unlike you, you'll be like, "I can't buy it anymore." Yeah, my name's Terrence. I so. think the if there's a nuclear holocaust, the uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast would be the uh, Quantum Nuka Cola. Yeah, of Fallout, would. for sure. I'd be so fucking rich. I'd have all the greater <laughs> bitches and the fucking. I have some rad claws and shit. You would. Right. You would. We have right. no questions yet. Nobody has sent us any questions. I have 15 notifications. But um, we're not doing questions yet, Harrison. It's way too early for that. I'm making you do an hour. <laughs> okay, alright. Well, okay, we can talk about this one thing. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's alright. Uh, I'm playing it. I can play it with no sound. It's all right. Uh, so let's see. Here we go. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, so me versus Mom Spaghetti Grand Finals, and uh, this really just really awkward thing uh, happened. Yeah. We I, I'm 
I still don't know what happened. Uh, basically, as you, uh, if you guys are watching or listening to this on MP3, uh, make sure you guys get to youtube.com slash I feel winner. But can they see me? Uh, not right now. Damn it. <laughs> not right now. But uh, so basically, he lets a level three focus attack rip. And somehow I hit him before the level 3 focus attack. I don't know. It's just... It looks like I am immune to his focus attack. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't know. So I think there's like a broken hitbox with Cody's focus attack or something. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, dude. Continue. That was it. Do you have anything to say about that? Do you see it when it happened? I did see it. Um, I just thought it was a glitch. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. It's... I I thought I was gonna get level three ripped and then die. Um, I assume there might have been a glitch on the the frame of contact. Like they both traded. I don't know. Like I don't. I can't explain it. Or he let go a second, like a millisecond too early, a frame too early. But I hit him, so I was in him. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I think it's like a broken hitbox or something. Oh, somebody might... says that, that focus attack glitch has been around for a while. I've never seen it before in my life. So, I mean... I don't know. Like, there's there's so many glitches in this game, Harrison. Like, let's just pick one. Just start, start fucking pick a character. I think there's like another, like, Hugo glitch. I don't know. There's like so many other things that are going on, too. I mean, there's the road glitch where she gets hit when she ultras, and her orbs still stay out. Like, it's like it's super. Like, it doesn't make sense, but it happens. I've done that many times. You just mash ultra and you get hit, but it doesn't matter. I know. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. There's just random stuff, dude. The game's broken. Like, it's just glitchy. Like, glitchy as fuck. It's glitchier than Marvel. And Marvel's like. No, it's not. There's, there's a lot of glitches involved with the gameplay, but. How is it? it how is it more? Shit doesn't than just happen. Like that. I don't know. So like what? The dead body glitch is okay. The what's that one glitch where you have a dead character and then you come in and then you but you stay out or whatever? And that glitch is them? okay, yeah. That's fine. Why well, was yeah. that fine? How's that fine? That's not fine. What at does all. it do? You avoid a super for like five seconds and then you get mixed up. That'd and be you like come in? just like if you get knocked down as like you just get knocked down and you just hit like a, a combination of buttons and you just don't get up again, like Yeah, and then you get mixed up when he come when it comes back in predictably. I don't know, like it's not like that at all. Like you come back in a certain set amount of time and you do have a same thing as you're coming in, so it sometimes is harmful to you. I mean you could just get mixed up. You still just get mixed up and die. And you just wasted, you know, meter. Well, okay. I don't know why we ever argue about our games. We just argue and bicker for like 20 minutes until somebody shuts the hell up. So I'll be the first one That's to do it. That usually week. goes. <laughs> oh my god, has the show been an hour yet? No? Alright. It's We're been 20 minutes. Here. It's been 20 minutes? Yeah. Well, think of something to say because I literally have nothing Harrison. to say. What? You must, have dire, you must have dire questions to ask me. Uh, what's coming up from NorCal? You sounded so enthusiastic about it. Oh yeah, you showed up to the Pandora house and then you say, didn't even say goodbye to me. I was pretty upset about that. I'm glad I did it purposely. <laughs> you did it purposely? I knew you'd do this. I knew you'd slight me in some way in the future. I got you back early. Really? No, I just forgot. <laughs> I like that venue though. The venue was pretty cool. Yeah, I can't believe you've uh, never been there before. I thought you would have uh, been there. I never was there. Um... This light is really light. Really so it was a pretty cool venue. And I got to hang out in Oakland after random streets and I peed in the street again. That was fun. Wow. Oh, the crappy that thing about that, uh, that tournament actually was that you couldn't play all the old games and stuff. I think all the consoles and stuff were put away. But Yeah, there's some people who are playing Marvel 2 and then they switched to some random ass game. Uh, but I mean, um, dogfight did happen at Young Center. I forgot who won. It was between Pain and Joss. Um, two Hildas. 
But I mean, there was it was pretty good. If you guys want to check that out, it was NorCal Dog Fight Twitch.tv slash NorCal Dog Fight. You are guys for that. Uh, some high level undernight in birth play. I was not there. I, I was at Pandora House, having a good time, playing casuals and shit. Joss won. Joss won. What the fuck? Okay. Joss beat Pain. How odd. Um, Joss is blowing everyone up. I wouldn't expect that, but he is. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I should be, I might be going to, um, the next tournament there. I probably, but I might be moving in. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're moving, right? Are you officially yeah, moving? moving? Yes. I have nice. the, my deposit bound and, uh, moving in soon. They just got contact and shit. So that's fun. I gotta go get a couch from, from, you know, why do you need a couch? Why would I need a couch, Harrison? Why would you need a couch? So I can sit on it. You told me you never leave your room. I don't want it either. <laughs> Why the hell do you need a couch? I don't want to have company over, Harrison. God. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just kidding. I'll need a place to sit, so. I haven't invited you over. No, oh, you haven't? Oh, okay. I mean, it's like that? That would be presumptuous. Maybe we can actually have the show that sucks at your house this time. Oh my god, please. Come over. <laughs> I don't want to drive to fucking Sonoma. That means I can't drink. <laughs> I said if I come over to your house, you can drink at your house. Are you done? You're trying to get hammered off Ace Cider? Yeah. So I actually, I have good news. Good news. Cool. Well, for me at least. Uh,. <laughs> Uh, I will be going to the Fall Classic. So I'll be going to my first East Coast tournament. I Yay. won't be able to enter, but I'll you be are there. You are doing what? Harrison? I'll be I'll be like miniature Capcom cops for like three days. You gonna be mini mini haunts? Yeah. Cool. Yep. So I'm pretty excited about that. I know you sound enthusiastic and excited for me. No, it's, I'm very excited for you. Yeah. It's cool. I think it's cool. Uh, I've never been to I, one. And, uh, I have a couple things to worry about East Coast. Always carry a bat. A bat. They don't take kindly to white people. Uh, uh, don't believe Kinder well, Party. Whatever you do, don't even believe. I mean, party. I never did that. He's gonna, he's gonna ambush you with some shit. What? Don't believe, him. don't believe him. He's gonna be like, "Hey, Harrison, try this candy." Don't do it. I'm like, "Oh, hey, Harrison, come in this alley." Don't do it. Don't believe him. Um. Uh, at 10 o'clock, there's uh, packs of wolves roaming uh, the streets. So, Are you going to give me like any useful information? or? Uh, that is very useful information. If there were packs of wolves roaming the streets, you wouldn't want to know about it, Harrison? So, a bat, which I'll probably have to buy there. And then I kind of stopped listening after you told me to get a bat. So, Don't believe Kinder Party. Don't believe Kinder Party, but he's, he's in our intro sometimes. How can I not? How can I... Don't believe him. Don't, <laughs> Don't believe, believe his lies. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are East Coasters and are there, and everyone say hi to Harrison. Say hi to me when I'm there. Give him drugs or something. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's, what's kind. I don't know. Doing Just food. say hi to me. You don't have to do a whole lot. You give him heroin. Just here's a needle. Jesus Christ! If you guys have any questions for the show, you could send them to add Harrison SBA. And at heroin dealer Hans Gonzo. I wish I'd deal heroin. My life would be so much easier. <sighs> Do you ever wish that, Harrison? <laughs> <laughs> that you were a heroin dealer? Yeah. No. Uh, not, uh, <laughs> not ever, because we would not be friends right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, this show just sucks, Harrison. I know, it's pretty terrible. I can't believe there's, okay. 100, there's 110 people watching this. Okay. There'll probably be like 83 um, people like listening to this on MP3. And like 1,000 people watching this on YouTube because you can't watch this on Twitch anymore because it'll meet the intro. So, yep. Okay. Um, I mean, I can't go to questions. We have 20 minutes left. But, um... We have 20 minutes left? There's nothing really that happened this past weekend that I was... You know, I can talk about. 
I mean... That game thing happened, but I don't really care about that. What game thing? The German thing. The Germany Gamescom. Oh, thing. Gamescom. Yeah. James. Gamescom. Yes. Gamescom. Yeah. Um, I saw a trailer for something I wanted to get, but I forgot already. So you're not gonna get it? I probably will. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I watched it. Um, Bloodborne looks cool, as always. Bloodborne's cool. That freaky ass like Silent Hill trailer. Oh, Silent Hill was a good a good game. I I watched um someone play through it. It's Martin's brother actually. He played through it, and uh, it was pretty scary. I'm I'm like I'm a big pussy when it comes to scary shit. So I thought it was scary. I'm not a huge fan of like. I just get freaked out easily. Like, I don't care. I'll like I'll walk down fucking dark alleyways and people trying to stab me and shit. I'll be like, yeah, whatever. I just but, don't like, like that easy scary little girl. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> I just don't like that scary like easy scary like shit. You know what I mean? Just like a ghost pop out of like your corner, you know, and scare you. Yeah. I think it's bullshit. I get scared. I got scared I of Final shit. Destination. Final Destination as a kid, I got really scared because I had a ceiling fan above me, and I was like, dude. That ceiling fan's gonna fall and just chop me in like three pieces. Like it's just going. <laughs> I think I told this before. I don't know. I don't think you have. At oh, all. okay. <laughs> I've like, never heard that before in my life. I got I got really scared that my ceiling fan would like just fall down and like chop me in half. But I, I honestly know that that's not how it works. Like it's not just gonna fucking slice through my bed. It's just gonna hit me. I'll be like ah, and be fine. But like, I got really paranoid about it and I just couldn't sleep in my room. So I would sleep. In my brother's room on the floor, and that's how bad I got. It was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yesterday. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I legit signs. I got scared at signs. You know that the birthday party scene, from the alien. Yeah, but like, I wasn't like you kind of knew something was, was gonna like, happen. Ha. And like, I got super freaked out. And I like, think I that, that movie sleep. is a good mix between like stupid scary shit and like it's a really stupid cool. movie if you actually watch it it's really fucking dumb but it's like, a great movie though i think it's stupid i think you're stupid but like i got fucking freaked out like hella hardcore and i'm like going back on it, i'm like it's just an alien dude I'm like what the hell but like i was like oh. i don't know things are scary i also had a recurring nightmares of do you remember that show i think it's called kablam Kablam? Yeah, I believe so. I think so. Uh, they had the they had um they had a live action one where it was like action figures and like they would they all like fucked up action figures. I don't know what's called. Um, I don't know, I'm like butchering this. Like they had the action figures with the big strong guy. Someone in chat knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, the villain from that he's like this two faced looking dude. I have recurring nightmares of that guy would hunt me down and kill me, and like I couldn't leave my bathroom. Because whenever I leave my bathroom, you get me. So, like, I was staying in my bathroom. I mean, everyone's learning very much about me today. <laughs> All my fears. Action League now, yeah, so everyone, yeah. I don't know why I was scared of that that guy that I was. That was the only nightmare I ever really had. I usually don't dream Harrison. Why am I talking? Well, I mean, you Sorry. Are, you, are, you are a heroin dealer. But anyways, all right. Uh, should we jump to questions? I guess. Do we have time? Do we have uh, when, time? when's the next NorCal Fight League? Uh, the next NorCal Fight League is this Friday. It's right up there on the top of your screen, guys. Pandora House Fight Club League, round three, the finale, the finisher, the one where the top five get all the prizes and the money and go into A League, where it'll be even cooler matches. I guess I don't know what's going on yet, but. The top five people are going to go into their own league where they're going to fight each other. And uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more production and stuff for that. It should be pretty cool. So, I'm yeah, this so Friday, excited. guys, starting at 8 p.m. It's at Venue 550. If you guys want to go and head out, it's free for casuals, I think. So if you're over 18, you can come out and just play Ultra or whatever you want. I'm sure they have room for other setups. So. I would not be going. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, um, West Coast Warzone is coming up. It's the first of, it's the first weekend of September, and they just introduced Undernight Birth 
replacing Tekken Tag. So that's cool, and I think a lot of animes are going to travel down there from NorCal now. So that's fun and exciting. Um, it'll be the first big undernight tournament, so it definitely does mean something. So that'll be cool. I'm probably not going to go. Just let you guys know. To where? West Coast Warzone. Oh, are you I, going? You, I wanted to going? go really bad, but I don't know now. Because of work Cause and everything. Yeah, because of work. So, but I'll be going to East Coast, so that's good yeah. enough right now, I think, for me. Okay. I still want to go down to LA and check out Super Arcade and see yeah, the new Super stuff. Arcade. Yeah, for sure. I, I saw their sync, and I was very disappointed. I don't know if you guys know me, but I'm a big Syncophile. I like syncs and cool syncs. I don't care what you think of me. I like syncs. But, like, their sync is really basic, and I thought they could, like, you know, spice it up. Like, I don't know. Maybe make a fight sync or something. That'd be cool. That'd be crazy. It doesn't matter if Strong Style is that weekend. It doesn't matter because it's not streamed. I'll probably go so, to Strong Style. Then. Yeah. I'll be at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be at. Well, wait. Is it se the first week of September? Yeah. Like, so September 9th or something? Because Strong Style is like the next weekend, right? Oh. Like the 18th or 16th or something like that? I think. I don't know. I think. Uh, First question of the night. The Hound. Says, will you guys be starting the show earlier now that you both have jobs <laughs> and are responsible adults? That uh, was the first question. We got that a long ago. Uh, obviously, no. no. <laughs> I was right. So, uh, yeah, no. I'm not responsible anymore. Sorry, guys. Rip. Rip. Next, um, next question. Hanzo replies with no. Uh, Druid Mage has who has been the biggest surprise so far at Bandora House? Is anyone ever going to beat Ricky? I don't know, and it's gonna take a lot to beat Ricky. <laughs> Ricky's gonna have He's to lose good. so many matches, and somebody's gonna have to go thirteen and zero. What in if order for comes back? It's impossible. He's like negative like a hundred million right now because he he Ricky raged comes. he raged like the first week, and then he didn't even show up the second week, and I. Uh, There'd be no reason for him to show up the thirteen, or the third week. So, uh, biggest surprise though, um, I I have to say either between, uh, honestly, the brothers Kelvin and uh, BJ Unchained, Brian, I have to, uh, I have to say those two guys are right, surprise me most. Just because I know all those matchups are kind of boring and stuff for Cody to deal with, so. But I like to see Cody win. But um, I, I, BJ and Chain for sure. Yep. Oh yeah, and Nando actually did really well, a Forte player, this week. Super Boy won like eight and five or something, with El Forte, which is crazy. So he must have beaten a lot. Of, he obviously beat you know eight great people to get there. And then Kimo, I think, has not been doing as well as he should have been doing. I think he he lost every match. On oh, yeah, he lost every match on on Saturday, so he's pretty much out of it, I think, at this point. But he's still gonna show up and and play his hardest for sure. Yeah, this he's Friday. Uh, I have a question. At G in the PJs asks, what quote? What quote would you write on Harrison's gravestone? Hint, mine would be, here lies a sack of musty beats. Um, I would write, what would I write? I would write, he brought the beat back. Well, That's what I would write. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's a good question too. Uh West Coast Warzone dropped uh Tekken in favor of the Lord and Savior Hansa Gonzo's favorite game ever now, the anime game. I don't know how you pronounce it, but Andre Ember. Yeah. They replaced it with that. So rip Tekken, right? And strong style's come up. Yeah, and strong style. That's true. I don't think anybody cares. More people care about Strong Style than any other tournament for Tekken besides Final Round. So, 
They don't even care about Evo, to be honest. If I'm going to be real, Strong Style is bigger than Evo, so. For Tekken. Yeah, probably. Probably. No, it is. Like, I'm not, it's not, I think anyone would say that. Like, there's more Koreans coming to Strong Style. Just There's just more international com competition going to be at Strong Style, which is crazy, but it's true. Strong Style is going to be the biggest Tekken thing besides Final Run, so. You know, it has been for the you know, the years that it's existed. So, uh, that Eric, should be fun to watch. Eric I might asks a great, fantastic question. Um, what color do you main in Catan? Um, very good question. I main green. I main the color green, yes. Mostly because I bought the expansion and it came with green. So I was like, fuck that. I'm using green because I bought it. So it's mostly... And I knew all the pieces were there and we didn't lose them yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's mostly the reason but yeah i mean green at and it's super funny because we all have our own oh. colors but anyways go for it at super yen ask i have a question you didn't answer last week i'm pretty sure we did answer it but i'll ask it again she shows me the tweet that i say i will kiss harrison on the mouth to prove i don't hate him i said it last week and i'll say it again i will i'll straight fucking kiss you on the mouth harrison will to, I give to what fuck about it to what? To Why? prove I don't hate you. You don't need to do that. I'll do it, though. <laughs> well, you don't ever need to do that. I'll do it, though. Like, no hesitation. Just smooch you right in the face. Okay, good to know. I appreciate it. I like, guess. What if there's a hostage situation? <laughs> it's some fucked up dudes like to kiss him on the mouth. I'll be like, yeah. I'm like, I don't care. Bam. Saved our lives. You're welcome, Harrison. <laughs> I hope that situation um, comes up. Ed read me, Jas. Can you confirm with Harrison going to East Coast that he is in fact the love child of Hans? Uh, no, Hans doesn't uh, can't grow a beard, so. Oh damn! Boom. Yeah, I guess that's true. I got longer hair than Hans too. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, um, I guess the answer to that question is no. I don't think so. No. All right. Sorry, I have a lot of super desperation radio spamming me. Hold on. Okay. New notifications. Uh, and for US says ban Atticus shirts or Atticus shirts. What the hell's Atticus? Atticus is Atticus Finch from uh. Oh my God. To kill a mockingbird. There you go. Boo rattling shit. I mean, I'm saying. Uh, at Devilfish asks, looks like he, Hanzo Gonzo looks like he gets less pooned than a non-famous Michael Sarah at Harrison's point. Um, next question. Um, when is Hanzo, this is in for you guys, when is Hanzo going to stream him playing Five Nights at Freddy's? I do not know what that is. And for you, yes. I don't know what that it is. Up. It's a Steam game. Oh my fucking lord, okay. <laughs> it was very loud. I don't know, some random Steam game. I don't know, I, I'm going to stream Crusader Knights. Uh, Add Husband game asks, of since it's my birthday today, I asked, what's the worst gift you've ever received? I, I have a worse I mean, gift, I... But, but, like, I got hell of shit for, like, complaining about it, and I thought I was justified. But, like, my mom bought me a printer one Christmas. I was like, okay, whatever. But we had, like, five printers. Like, we had a shit ton of printers, and I could have just taken one and just been like, okay, I can use this printer. But she bought me a new one. I was like, why did you buy me a new one? They're like, you're not very appreciative of this printer. I'm like... Okay, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. I just didn't get it. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I'll, enjoy, I'll use it, but, like, we have five printers. I don't get it. Okay, thanks. I don't know. I don't I don't think I've ever had, like, a bad gift. Like, or like, no, God, I fucking for... hate this. Hate my life. I don't even, I don't even want this stupid gift. Like, who says that? Like, nobody, nobody says, like, fuck this and, like, this, a gift. It's funny. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. It's You're funny. a terrible person for giving me something for free and showing your appreciation that you like me. No, uh, worst gift ever. Thanks for blowing. I don't know. I'd, I'd I'd really have to think about it. 
I mean, I even appreciate like a pair of socks. Like, I could use a pair of socks. These socks are dope. A pair of boxes? I need boxes. Burn through them. Good road. I think the worst thing ever was like, uh, getting like a gift card. Like in that middle age when you're like 13 and like 15. Because it's always from somebody who's like knows your mom but doesn't really care about you. So they're just like, I don't know what you want. And then they just like give you like a Best Buy gift card for like 20 bucks. Our, um, our... It's just like at that point I'd be like, I'd totally be okay with not receiving a gift from you. Like, Our aunt would give us a gift every year of um, lottery tickets and then they have a goodie bag. Yes, I get lottery us. tickets too, but I'd also get like candy or something in it too. But in the goodie bags, it was always they would pick movies to buy for us, and it was always the most random fucking movies ever. And they'd get one for each of us. One year, my brother got um, Beauty Shop. Straight up, we we're yeah. like we we're like sixteen and seventeen. He got Beauty Shop, and then like this was probably four years ago. My brother got Spider Man too. Just straight up on DVD. Like five years after it came out. Just random movies. We're just getting like, okay, now we own this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't cool. bought a DVD <laughs> in so long. And yeah. We still get them too. I think our last one was um Fuck. It was some motorcycle movie. I I just didn't understand well, it. Well, I hope that answers your question at husband on Twitter. Champagne Hoochie tweets us, Rip Tekken, is Marvel next? No, Marvel's perpetual and will never die. Can't kill Marvel. Marvel's kind of dead. It's like a little bit Can't dead. kill it. It's like a little bit. You can't kill it, it's but fucking it's like... It's Gregor, man. It's like... Kill. <sighs> Keeps coming back. Keeps coming back. Keeps coming back. Marvel's hype, man. Have you seen the GIF? There's a GIF. You guys should look it up of... Um, Insane versus Fox. Yeah, he just grabs him right, and then he just fucking pops. Yeah, he uh, Insane Nova like grabs screwed. zero, and Fox just rage quits. Like just thought the match was over. Like, and there's there's a different feeling when you're playing Nova. Like that's that's the case, but it's just funny. Um, at Dean PJ's ass, is that a bottle of Lichenine Desk? Yes, yes it is. I need it for my hands. I do not masturbate with it. Just so you guys know. No one will believe me, but oh, of course no one will believe you. Zero people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Blue Evac asks, now, if you guys have any questions, you can send them to add Harrison SBA and add Hanzo Gonzo. Blue Evac asks, now that tonight has shown how hurtful K Katan can be, will you be seeking help? Hashtag intervention. Uh, if anything, I will just be streaming Katan. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to call an intervention for playing Settlers of Catan, for playing a board game. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, it's happened for far less. My parents what? are going to give me an intervention for WoW. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't play that game too much. <laughs> uh, and they're being new. What would happen if you just started playing it again? Like, what would they do? Like, well, now they, just, I can just do whatever I want, dude. I can leave and come back late. It's great being involved. Um, <laughs> dude, I can eat fucking candy for dinner and shit. Breakfast, I don't care. You would really do that? Do. You, would, you would eat candy for breakfast? I've done it before, dude. I don't I think I care. Before, like, when, I'm you an adult. Like, when you were like 14. I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want. I, I mean, can go buy can a rake right now. I can just literally go buy a rake. Can't stop me. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, I mean, dude, that's a more reasonable thing than eating candy for breakfast. Totally if you wanted buy. to stop the show and go just to go buy a rake, I don't know nope. if I'd let that happen, but no. I guess um, you can do that if you wanted to. I was gonna say something, but I totally forgot. Well, that sucks. It was about buying a rake. Uh, no, you just shacked me. I was looking at my face too much. I was how good looking at it. Um. How far are we on the show? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> like forty five minutes. Maybe. Forty? Are you are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? No way, no way. What time do we start? Look at the Skype what call. Time dude. Did we, what time do we? What time do we start? Look the at show? the Skype call. Look, Look at the Skype call. I can't. It'll mess it up. 
Uh, Actually, I'll do it. I'll, I'll. You guys can check out this tweet while I do it. Uh, you can. Can you uh, ask Blue Mega Man Sweet? If enough people say Rose is OP, will it make it true? No. It's been fifty minutes. <laughs> no, we didn't start right away. Oh yeah. God damn it. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I did it again. I hate X Split, man. I don't hate X Split. But... What do you think of the news that Duck Hunt might be in Super Smash Bros. Uh, really? Yes. That'd be cool. Do you know I called it last week on the show? I said I want to play Duck Hunt. Yeah. All of a sudden, this week Duck Hunt's in the news. I don't know. Maybe I know something. Maybe I know something you don't. I think it'd be cool. It'd be like Polygon and like Pokemon or something. I don't know. Nah, no, he'd be an actual character. He'd just it'd be him and the dog and the bird or something. I don't know. Like his super thing, it just starts like the duck hunt Laughing. thing. No, the duck hunt thing starts coming up. And oh yeah, that'd just be starts super shooting cool. people like with the yeah. with the gun, and you with the Wii remote, you can actually shoot people with it. I don't know about the new one. Well, yeah, I guess you're right, huh? I don't know. They could just control with it. I don't know. Whatever. Yo, with the Wiimote, though, that'd they be... They can figure that'd, out a way. That'd yeah. be broken, dude. You just... That'd be sick. That'd be super cool. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yep. This is your show, Hanzo. You gotta this is my up. show? You gotta man up. <laughs> you're the one who was late. I don't do shit. I've been talking for fucking since 10, dude. No, you haven't, because we started at, like... I was doing the pre-show. Do you not know about the pre-show? No. We had a pre-show of SDR, Walkman, Hopped On, and Gibby and Sanchez, and then they invited me on. <sighs> we talked about random things. Like what? Chicken fries, mainly. Chicken fries at Burger King? Really? That's what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes, we did. And now Love we it. just talked about that on this show. Fantastic. Wow, wow look at the meta. The meta is so meta. Oh I my know. god, meta. Um, <sighs> Harrison, what's your favorite band? What is my favorite band? Yes. Tenacious D. Really? Really. 100% truly. It's a good, it's a good choice. I'm, what's your favorite I'm not rap kidding. Song? I'm not kidding like that. No, I don't. What's your favorite rap song, Harrison? Uh, let me think. Gangster rap song how about that. I think you probably know it. What? I know your favorite rap song, but what about modern gangster rap? Modern gangster rap? I don't yeah. know any modern gangster rap. <sighs> Wait, what is my favorite rap song? Um, probably the message. No. No? no. Symphony? Close. Ah. Uh, Close. Uh -huh. Pain of Full. Oh. All right. That That's good. Legit. I like that song. Yeah. Um. I literally have nothing to talk about, guys. Like somehow we just we just won up like the worst show. Just every six weeks, just one time. It's just, it's just pretty terrible. And uh, I guess it's, I guess it's this week. I had a bunch of work I had to do, so I couldn't think of anything to talk about. Sorry, Hanzo. I'm sorry. See how important you are for the show. <laughs> if I'm not here, this show just fucking falls apart. It does. <laughs> I'm not, I never lie about that. Like, people don't understand. I don't do anything. I just sit here. Ugh. Um, I should be more productive. I'm uh. <laughs> just once, just just this one time. This KOF thirteen is on a humble bundle. You guys can pick that up for, I believe it's five thirty, five dollars and thirty cents now. You can also get Crusader Nights two, which comes with the Game of Thrones mod. If you want to act out your Game of Thrones fancies, you can do that. Uh, Terraria is also in the bundle, which Harrison's a big fan of. Harrison, do you like Terraria? Uh, it's fun. Yes, I know you do like it. 
Um, there's also Canada Cup coming back, apparently. Canada oh, yeah. Cup is on apparently, the rise. Apparently, the one that was announced was like Super Canada Cup or something like that. Something weird. But it fell through, and uh, now we're getting the regular Canada Cup. Because I think... Uh, I don't know if I should say it on the show, because I know why, but... Yeah. No, it's okay. Illuminati. Rip. Um, I mean, there's the whole Ferguson thing. I don't know if I'm talking about it, I but I have a lot of... That. Opinion, civil rights wise, if you want to look at my Twitter. When I told my mom I was going to Oakland for like the thing, she like freaked out. I was like, Yeah, oh, I realized down, that right? when I was down there at like 11 o'clock at night, and I was like, Yeah, isn't there, wasn't there riots here yesterday? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, there were. Like, I was like, Mom, like, are the place I have my own parking spot, not on the street, it's five steps away from the door to the building. And then it's up a two-story building, of which you need to get in with a code to get into this place. I'm like, Mom, I'll be, I'll be okay. It's all right. But yeah, over, overly protective parents. Yeah, <laughs> I totally know that. <laughs> um, James Chen blocked me on Twitter. He that blocked you. Yeah. See, this is the kind of news that you should have brought up from the beginning. <laughs> Not really news. Which is, I'm desperate. Uh, come back, James. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> James just watched the thing. show. <laughs> um, Base Rambo has a question. Shout out to Base Rambo. What happened to you? Oh my god. What? I don't know. You just disappeared on Skype for no reason. Like I, I went off the screen, yeah, but uh, oh, you can't see it on here, unfortunately. Uh, Base Rainbow asks, uh, hold on a sec, guys. I suck. You can boot me after the show's over. It's okay. He asks, "Have I ever been to the brewery in Healdsburg?" And I have not. But I heard it's really good. Oh, okay. Yeah, he works there, dude. Oh, he does? Oh, my God. Yeah. He, uh, it's, um, I just forgot the name. Just Hello, Hard Body. Oh, no, it's Bear Republic. Yeah. Um, my brother's actually used to work there, too. I'll bring you up there one of these days. Yeah, I know it's super good, and there's, like, really good food around there and stuff. I've been meaning to go, but... I just, like, goals. Santa Rosa is, like, on the way, and then by the time I, like, leave Santa Rosa, I'm drunk, and it's just, like, too late. <laughs> Plenty of yellow too good for you, man? Uh, no, they have sour beers there, and it's hard to find good sour oh. beers. I don't know. But I think their best beer is Damnation, for sure. In Damnation? Yeah. I've never had it. It's really good. I've been meaning to go to the cider. Pet it, it tastes like, it, it tastes like syrupy beer. Ooh. It's like really, really good. I probably like that. It's really good. When you move, I'll have to get you some. Ooh, a growler? And then we can get drunk off Damnation while we do the show that sucks. I am all about that. Are we almost done with the show? Yet? No. No? Are you serious? <sighs> Your anguish just feels me just... Oh. Let's, let's take a look at Cap Reddit because that's where, uh, that's, where that's where DJ Lee gets all of his news. Are uh, you <laughs> going to Cap Reddit for news? Here? Because this is a new level. I'm pushing my tits in it. Can I get some viewers? Hey man, somewhere? that's where DJ Lee gets his FTC news. I gotta, <laughs> I I gotta get it here also. God, this is all terrible stuff. Every every like spatter. twenty posts is something good. I swear. Well, there's nothing on Cap Reddit. Dude. Oh, There's I'm a line of hurt boxes, but I don't really want to play that right now on the show. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in to this terrible, awful show. Every single week. There's been 92 of these things. I keep mousing over Hanzo Gonzo's face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Close, but... uh...
Come on, dude. Think of something. Jesus Christ. Why are I thinking of something? Why? Because I every every week for ninety one weeks, it's been me. <laughs> every single week. I think Just of one. I talk. Okay, so every fifty. Every Why are you blaming this on me? You're just deflecting. <laughs> You're in your stages of grief. In grief? What are you talking about? You're experiencing psychological trauma because you're denying that you're late. I'm not. Denying it. I'm not denying it. <sighs> I don't have pants on, Harrison. It doesn't make you feel. Is it the show? Is it over yet? I do not have pants on. Can I end this? I can end this, right? Ooh. I can end it. I'm going to end.